Mr. Rat, what do you think about gun control versus tackling mental health issues? Cause like, travesties keep traversing, and it's like, from my window of the world, nothing is happening except for one group being like, it's those guys, and the other group's like, no, it's them. And like, I just think if I really commit myself, like more than the summer that I followed the band Mo, more than the time I drove a pound of pot across the Canadian border with my aunt's passport, like maybe then, and really, truly then, we can rise above these false idols and teach America what friendship is all about. I think there should be therapists available at schools and a ban on assault weapons. Mr. Rat, you are like so smart. Like I am so glad you're a part of my life. Like, sometimes I think you can see into my soul and I yours. Thanks, Brittany. That's sweet. You should call your sister, Brittany. <laughs> she doesn't want to hear from me. I disappointed her. I disappointed everyone. People have come back from worse things than 3D wise. I'll call when I have good news. Like when I can say, look at this. Not I told you so, cause that's a bit premature. Also, I don't really want to use that tone. But when I can say like, look at this thing I did. Look at my career. I'm a lawyer now. You? Want to be a lawyer? I don't know, Mr. Rat. I'm just spitballing a hypothetical. Just trying to imagine myself making the world a better place. You can impact the world in smaller ways. You're right. I could volunteer for the NRA and be a mole for Mayor Bloomberg. But first, let's finish this bottle of sweet vermouth. Stop.